previously on Champ Coastal. And we are introducing a new twist for season two called the Contender Challenge. There will be three Contender Challenges after each of the first three Champ Challenges. The top three models will be rewarded with a trip to our second Champ House what? in Siesta Key. Champ Challenge Round 1 is called Champ Recreations. I know that we told you that we did not know each other, but we actually do. Um, yeah. We went to high school and college together. Anne Marie and Anthony. Congratulations, oh, Big Thank you. I was honestly a little disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to fight. I choose you flying today. Push it on up. between you and me and Champ. Well, obviously it means that people saw you as a threat because that is why I was knocked out. in the first ever Contender Challenge. This first Contender Challenge is going to test your knowledge on season one. Ooh. We will explain oh the challenge <laughs> at the champ pool, and I hope you guys are prepared. So I want you to change into your swimwear, and I'll see you guys soon. Ooh. Our first Contender Challenge of season two is called Order of Elimination. We are putting Danny, Mason, and Michael's knowledge of season one, Champ Las Vegas, to the ultimate test in a challenge that will not only challenge them mentally, but also physically. They will have to remember the exact order of elimination from Jamila all the way to season one champion, Sean. But there's a catch. Anthony was originally eliminated fifth, but earned a spot back in the competition by winning the redemption challenge, key to the city, and ultimately finished third. So although there were 10 cast members in season one, they will have to remember redemption and count Anthony twice in the order of elimination. Here's how it works. In the champ pool are 33 photos of the cast of season one. There are six photos of Anthony and three photos of everyone else. All photos are face down in the water and secured in Ziploc bags. Danny, Mason, and Michael must find the photo of the first eliminated cast member in the pool and bring it to Champ for him to verify if they are correct or incorrect. If they are correct, they can move on to find the next eliminated cast member. But if they are incorrect, they must start over from the very beginning. That means in order to win, they must get every placement correct from start to finish. The stakes are high with immunity on the line and the first knockout vote of the season coming up. Who will come out on top and move on to the next round of the competition? Contenders, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. You <laughs> can't see anything. Hey, You got it. Let's go. Let's go. Run it up. Run it up. Yes. Michael's at one. Go, 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 go. Come on. Yeah, come on, you got it though, you got it though. 
Michael's at two. Okay, okay, come on, come on. You got it. All right, Danny, come on. Danny's incorrect. Danny's incorrect. Three. Okay, come on, Michael. Come on. Wait, wait. Mason's incorrect. Okay. You guys got this, though. You guys got it. Keep looking. Here's what you guys are like the three Spider Man in the new movie. And I love them all, but I don't know. Mason's at one. Michael's, Michael's at four. Yes. Woo! Focus, focus, focus. I got it. I got it. Mason's at two. All right, there you go. Yeah, that's okay. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Mason's at three. Yeah, yeah. Michael's at five. Yeah. Danny's at two. Mason's at one. Yes, yes. 
physical challenges I really do so this is kind of something that I really enjoy doing so yeah I'm excited and hopefully I can step it up next round so it was super quick fast pace uh, it was really difficult to try to remember like where you got something wrong if you got something wrong um, going that fast pace with two other guys in the pool um, yeah, it totally threw me off thinking about redemption and not realizing, not thinking about Anthony. I kept putting Anthony way at the towards the end, so yeah, it kept throwing me off. But it was a it was a tough challenge, but a lot of fun for sure. Yeah, no, it was honestly fun. It was a great challenge. Um, I enjoyed every second of it. It was a blast to do. I think what confused me was I kept hearing redemption, but I didn't think that that was gonna count as an actual, like there was gonna be a person twice. So when Champ said 11, that threw me off because I thought it was just going in order, like from 10 to one. I didn't think a redemption would be in twice. And so I think that threw me off um, a lot. And then, but at the end of the day, like, I mean, that was, it was amazing effort. Like, and I feel better about it because I mean, we all had a first shot and it was a good chance and, um, they killed it, so yeah, it was great. I had a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, that contender challenge was so stressful, and like, I was not even like the contender. <laughs> they all got pretty far, like at one point, and then you know, at some points, like it was, they had to just start all over again. The starting all over again, I think that's what really like got them like going. Trust me, I gave it all I had. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah. Like, in that shit. You were every time y'all got out the yeah. pool, y'all was sprinting out there. Yeah. And yeah. I was getting very, very angry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I watched you, yeah. You, you smacked so the water one time, and I was like, I'm <laughs> down for you. And I go, everyone calm down. You're not and then to once you kept like going back and forth, everything started getting jumbled. Yeah. And then I was like, shit, I don't even remember who's third now. Like, I, it's 
everyone's photos started to look the same, everyone's pictures started to look the same, like it was, it was freaking chaos. People are yelling like, just remember, just, just remember the order you went in, but you've done it so many times, you have no idea, like it's, yeah. The first no, two, not. obviously, I feel like are definitely the, like the easiest, but then even then, it's like you're searching the whole pool for the two people that you just put on the freaking... Yeah. You yeah. just gave to Champ, and now you have to find them all over again because you know those are the first two that you need. I knew the first four, confidently. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I kept doing that over and over yeah. and over. I probably did that about three, four, five times. Yeah. And then the fifth one, I couldn't get you for some reason. Mm -hmm. And then once I got that, it was over. Or not over. I should have won the competition. I and I'm not gonna. Yeah, and I, I. I think again, it sounds like I'm making a bad excuse. It, it, like I didn't win the competition at the end of the day. <sighs> then I was wrong again. Then I was wrong again. And then I was wrong again. <laughs> and so, but I just kept pushing because I was like, you know, you're still not out. You know, people they're they're messing up. I'm messing up. You know, an hour later, you know, we're. <laughs> We're still going, but um, yeah, I, and then I started having a strategy, you know, that because I knew the first four for sure, and the fifth one was the one that was really confusing to me, and of course it was Anthony, and, uh, and I was trying to, I had tried everybody else except him, so then finally I was like, okay, this has got to be the one, so I went, and thank God it was correct, and then after that it was, it was pretty much easy. And uh, like I said, I had a little strategy where I was pushing photos that I knew were next in a corner and then so I knew straight where to go. And then I was so happy to hear those words because I was exhausted, so. <laughs> so, um, by winning the Contender Challenge, you are safe from this upcoming yeah. knockout vote. Thank God. And I have something <laughs> special for you. So I want you to read this. And then show off your okay. <clears throat> advantage. Contender advantage. Congratulations, you have received the vote blocker to use on this upcoming knockout vote. This vote blocker eliminates one model's vote. You must bring this vote blocker with you to the vote results. Hide it. After everyone votes and before Champ announces the votes, you must stand up and announce to the group what you have and whose vote you are blocking. And then uh, there's the contender um, advantage. And then this is my little contender trophy, which I proudly won. Like, I tried really hard. So, super proud of this. Yeah, because even if you're a winner, but you, if you, win, but you could still use it to save somebody else. Yeah, you but if you win, you wouldn't like, compete in that. Uh, no, you could. No, you can. They could have competed in this one. We could have competed in this one, but. And no. given it to someone else. And given else. it and like saved community. somebody else. I am terrified <laughs> for the voting, but we will see what happens. Um, obviously, it's very anxious because I'm one of the five that could be eliminated. I'm fingers crossed. <laughs> like Take the base out your voice. You take your damn bass out, your damn voice, girl. I will come over there. You can try it. I'll take his hoops out once his hoops are out. God bless him, motherfucker. God bless you after I take these hoops out, because that's real shit. Will these hoops come out? You were complaining I was eating your ass last night. That's it. I would like to say, for the record, for season two, that is not a fucking fact. Why are you showing me your ass right now? Uh, so, why are you looking? Because it was all of you Darius, were you there? You were there for the ass licking, remember? I'm going to be your ass, ass. Thank you. Please right. say something with the camera's on that did not happen. Tell them. Tell them right now. I ate you guys. shit out of me. I'm roommates have been my witness. No, I'm kidding. Yes, she did. She was there. go um and I, I don't know like where it happened i literally woke up this morning and there was just this completely different vibe from pretty much the entire house um 
and I was told by somebody that yeah, um, the word was that it was gonna be me, and um, I don't know. I just <sighs> it's just really hard. Like I, um, I just I'm just so grateful to be here, and I just. I can't say what I really want to say because I'm gonna look like a fucking asshole. That honestly did remind me of Survivor. Yeah, when that did. one right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That challenge. That's right. I think the That's element awesome. of having to do it over and over again and there not being a time limit, you're in the pool wondering it's like how memory memory freaking long yeah. this is gonna last. My story has made me who I am today. I'm not my story. My story is what has made me strong. And in this house, There's just stories and stories of, I, I, I don't know, at the end of the day, like, I, I mean, it's because, like, for some reason, I, like, I mean, I, I haven't modeled, but I, there's this impression that, like, I'm some like model that like does this and at the end of the day like I came here to I wanted to be here so fucking bad and it's it's when I watched the first season and I watched Riley and she was talking about how voting went I at the time questioned it but now I completely understand what she means My jaw hit the floor. Um, I did not feel safe by any means. Like I definitely went in there really nervous. Um, but that was not what I was expecting at all. I did not think I was going to be the first one to it out. Um, I thought that I had good enough relationships with everyone, so that was uh, eye-opening. But you know, it is a game, and I can see why I would be a threat. So, you know, that, uh, it just worked out that way. Um, it sucks because I went in there and just made my vote based off of just like, I don't know what else to do. Um, and I kind of thought we were, I thought that's what everyone was gonna do. If I would have gotten eliminated any other way, then whatever. But the fact that I was ganged up on and blindsided, that's what I'm upset about. So, I don't know, like I said, they're just, Playing the game, so um, I, yeah, it's a compliment, but it's also just kind of like, dang, because uh, I feel like I didn't even really get a chance. And I think that's just the saddest part. Um, I think there's people who really want to be here, but then you also have people who rather fucking watch a TV show and they're telling people that then they'd rather f compete in this game. There's people who are falling asleep in meetings on camera and it's just frustrating. I don't, I can't, I, I can't say what like I want to say because it's, this cast is so diverse. And that's an amazing thing, and it's so beautiful. But at the end of the day, when people see you and they see a confident person who believes in themselves, who's here to compete, and who they know is gonna try hard, and who might be seen as attractive, but it's like you battle the exact same demons that everybody else does. I'm, I am extremely nervous. I'm extremely nervous because that was the one thing I said. I was like, I pretty please do not want to be voted out the first round, please. But I mean, that's the game. So we'll see what happens.
So going into the vote, um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I really, it's hard. I honestly don't have a set vote right now. I think that my vote is gonna be when I walk into there and I'm just gonna have to cho like choose once I get in there. Like I don't have a set person in mind. I don't at all, like this is, this is gonna be hard. I really have no idea. Still now walking in who I wanna vote for. Um, I'm so speechless uh, for me personally. Like, I don't really know. Like, me being safe, it's it's a relief. Like, I don't have to worry, you know, this round, like, if I'm going to get, you know, knocked off. But um, not even that. Just I think it's very stressful to vote myself, to have to vote for somebody, because I really, I have no idea. I don't have a set person in mind. So I think my vote for me, like, I'm just going to have to go in there and I'm going to have to choose once I get in there and that's going to be the hardest part. Honestly, nothing personal at all. <sighs> oh my gosh. So coming into this first vote, I have to say like personally, I have not given it much like like thought. Sit I like Maybe it's because I'm safe. If I wasn't safe, I probably would be scrambling, you know? But I haven't given it much thought and I was expecting there to be some side conversations, but actually I haven't witnessed any or maybe I'm just not a part of them because I'm safe. But from observing wise, I'm trying to maybe base my vote, my vote off of something objective. And I think what could be that is everyone's willingness to be here for genuine reasons. So if I hear anybody saying they don't really care or they're just like, I don't know, whatever, then I'm just like, well, there's people here giving their heart in the pool for a contender challenge and you're over here saying you don't give a shit. So I'm probably not gonna vote for you, stay. <laughs> so that's kind of where I'm at. If I'm judging off of just performance, I would say everyone's equal. If I'm judging off of who I think is really here and like, you know, takes it seriously type of thing. Um. Oh, I don't wanna do this, people. So, I'm voting for this person because, I mean, they just had the least to work with which sucks, um, but, <laughs> okay, sir, um, but okay. <sighs> okay, and then, um, I'm going to block. I do not know yet who I'm voting for. I do not know yet who I'm voting for, um, I really, 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 really don't. Um, I think when I get in the room, I'll know. Um, and I, I don't want to vote for who I'm probably going to vote for. Um, I'm, pro I'm probably going to vote for uh, Mason or Rajay. And I don't want to vote for anybody like that. But I'm just going to go off of like just like a hunch on one of them and then the other one. Yeah, well, I don't know, shit, that's tough. I don't know who I'm gonna vote for, let's just say that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna restart my combo and I'm just gonna go off of when I get in there. I'm gonna have to go off of it when I get in there, I really am. It's a surprise for even Gene. I'm actually gonna base my vote off of how we're sitting out there. When you're out and nobody's talking to you and literally nobody's making eye contact with you and when they're saying oh like this is not personal it's not personal and they're looking directly at you in the eyes i mean it's just obvious yeah i mean simply it's absolutely nothing personal i've just heard from a birdie that uh there's been a couple people who've been um talking about like trying to get me out specifically and um between the two it's just I mean, man, it's just easier to do it that way. It's nothing personal. It's just 
my game and that's what's, I guess, best for me at this point, so. <sighs> it just fucking sucks because literally it's everybody here is telling their sob story. It just, it's frustrating when people see you and they don't give you the time of day. Just because they automatically assume that because you're whatever, that like you haven't been through struggle and like you haven't been through your own shit in reality like you have. But you have everybody here that's just <sighs> telling their soft stories and it's just like, <sighs> I'm not my story. Like my story has made me who I am today. It's made me a strong, confident individual who's passionate about what he wants to do and he wants to do everything 110% and he's going to give his all and that's exactly what I did and so all I can do is be proud um, and I am and I'm so grateful for this opportunity this has literally been incredible um, I just wish I would have been given the time of day um, and I think that that's something that I face every day in life I mean everybody does People see you and they think that, oh, it's like, you're this, this, and this. So like, oh, it's just, you've always had life so easy and like, da da da, -da and it's, I don't know. I am anticipating some drama if people get really mad, like getting all eliminated and stuff like that. So we will see what happens. <laughs> I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I do not like this. I'm gonna say that right now. I really love everybody and everybody deserves to win. I'm nervous as shit. I have no idea. I honestly, truly have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I have no... I don't think I am gonna know who to vote for until I get there. Until it's right there in the moment. Um, we, we've talked about it so much as a group today, collectively, and being in a, in a place where we all feel like we vibe with each other so well and it's really hard to be at a place now after day one of like full-on action of knowing who we would want to eliminate because it's extremely difficult so i'm not looking forward to that process at all for sure but i guess we'll see what happens oh my god i have no idea This is the worst part, hands down, this is the worst part. This is such a great group of people already and it's been one day. I'm not nervous and I think may the best man win whoever last one standing, they deserve to win. I hope that in that little time that I have been able to be here, that you know that like no matter what you do, you have everything you have to be there. And if people are telling you like not to do something or not to, you know, parents or people in life or like you tell them about something and they're not excited for you, like chase your heart, follow your heart, and do whatever you do, 110%, because you have a light in you and you're gonna spread that. And um, always just believe in yourself. If other people can't understand that light, there are gonna be people who do, and those are the people who matter. And don't let, regardless of outside circumstances, stay true to you, keep spreading your light, keep holding your head high, chest out, and um, be your best self. We're gonna find out real quick, we're gonna find out really quick if people are lying, and it will shake things up, and, um, I think I have a target on my back, big time. Holy crap, I may be going home. But that is why I gave up the legacy advantage, because I, I want it to be fair. If I get a target on my back, so what? Guess what? I was at the first season. I know there's going to be a redemption challenge. I ain't stupid. So if I get knocked out right now, I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. I totally understand what Riley means now. 100%, like 120%. Like, I completely understand her. And it, it's...
Ew. Don't tell anybody. It's just between between you and me and Sham. Well, obviously it means that people saw you as a threat because that is why I was knocked out. But now they think that you're completely out. They think that they don't need to be worried about you anymore and you really need to use that to your advantage. Just watch everything happen from the sidelines. Try to get as much tea as you can so that way you can sneak back in and make the fucking move. Next week on Champ Coastal. And our first knocked out model of the season is... What the hell?